Mademoiselle Drew, what is it now? The picture of Manette that was in the June issue of Glam Glam, was it cropped, do you remember? Mm, I'm sure it was. Most photographs are these days. Why? Do you think I could see the uncropped picture? As it happens, all the pictures which I use in my articles are stored right here in my digital assistant. I will help you, mademoiselle, but only if you help me first. You see, the owner of this café, he faces a crease. The person who makes desserts for him has stepped out for his customary two and a half hour break. Unfortunately, a bus full of American teenagers has pulled up and all are clamoring for parfait. So, I will tell the owner that you will make the parfait, and when you do, he will be indebted to me and will allow me to continue using this table as my office. And I will be indebted to you and will allow you to see the picture. You see how it works? Yeah, I get the picture. Okay, looks like I've got... A chocolate ice cream, vanilla ice cream, strawberry ice cream, caramel ice cream, bananas, tapioca balls, berries, and whipped cream. The first one I have to make is an exwa. C'est bien. I did it right. Now they want a long fair. Oui, c'est ça. Next up, a tropical. He liked it. Now they want a long fair. Merci. Next is a corbeau. One mystique coming up. Here comes a fantasy. I did it right. There, all done. The owner, he tells me you did a good job. And so, as was our agreement, here is the picture you wish to see. Great, thank you. So, what else do you wish from me? I'd better get going. A tout à l'heure.
stupid dials on this thing move. Looks like I should type a message using my own keyboard. something that's the same shape as this. something that's the same shape as this.
looks like some kind of code. making tea, hopefully for good. I need something that's the same shape as this.
rouge blanc, rouge bleu, rouge. Looks like French to me. Locked, of course. Wow! So that's what Noisette stole during the war. Stained glass. If you are reading this, it means that I am dead and that you have discovered my secret. Yes, the rumors were correct. With the help of Hans von Schwesterkrank, I took the stained glass you see in front of you and hid it. Not for personal gain, but so these exquisite pieces of art would not be lost to the dangers of war. I was not a traitor, nor was Hans. He helped me because he knew it was the right thing to do. But why, you are asking, why when the war ended did I not return them? Why did I not even admit taking them? At first it was because I was angry, after all that I had done for my country, when my friendship with Hans was discovered, people turned against me and accused me of terrible things. I wanted to hurt the people of Paris the way they were hurting me, so I said nothing about the stained glass. Then, when at long last I was deemed innocent, my anger subsided, but fear took its place. I was afraid that if I revealed what I had done, the accusations would start up again and people would once again call me a criminal and question my motives and assail my character, and it would have been too much to bear. Hans had gone back to Germany, and despite his promises to the contrary, I knew I would never see him again. Like everyone else, I just wanted to get on with what was left of my life, so again I said nothing. And gradually time passed, and Paris healed, and I healed. Yet the right time for telling the world my secret never seemed to come. And now I am director of public works, a job I hold not only because I love this city, but because I wanted to make sure that someone, you, would be able to eventually find what I hid. Please make sure these pieces make a safe return to the world above. When you see them as they were meant to be seen, with sunlight streaming through their panes, interrupting the darkness with color and meaning and joy. Only then will you truly understand why I did what I did a lifetime ago. N-T. X-I-V-I-I-I. -I -I. Oh, the door locked behind me, and nobody knows I'm down here. Not good.
French again. French numbers. Well, does the dress work? It does indeed. Yeah, yeah! What about when I whispered? And when I turned my back? Could you hear what I said then? Gonzo, I could hear everything. With this dress, we will be able to hear every word that is spoken within 10 meters of the First Lady. And what we hear, what we sell, will make us the wealthiest spies on the planet. <laughs> hey! Hey! I made you the dress, so how about paying me? After the first lady takes possession, that is our deal. Look, I put up with the dead flowers, the letters, the paint, the idiotic phone calls. I put up with all your stupid threats for months. I deserve to get paid now. Those weren't threats. Those were incentives meant to keep you on track. And they obviously worked. You'll get your money when she gets the dress. Let's go, Gunther. But they're picking it up for her tomorrow. What difference does it make whether you pay me now or 24 hours from now? Oh my gosh! It sounds like Manette made that dress for the First Lady to be some kind of bugging device. I've got to get it out of here and take it to the police. <laughs> Where do you come from? You've been hiding in here, eavesdropping. You heard everything, didn't you? Not everything, but enough to know that thanks to you, those two guys intend to use this dress to bug the World Summit. I knew there was something sneaky about you the minute you walked into my office. I should have tossed you out on the spot and told Amy Grunhill to stuff it. Well, newsflash, sister. I am about to knock your nosy little block off. Hey! Yeah! I'm a wide belt in itchy dough, and after I'm done with you, you'll need an intern yourself. A medical one. Shazza! Uh. Kila! Hey! Ho, 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 ho! Ha! Ha! Shazza! Uh. Hope you're a good loser, because you are going down. Shazza! Ha! 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 You're starting to look a little tired there. Ha! Kila! Oh, so you think you can block me, eh? Kila! Ho! Your goose is cooked. He da. Ho 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 ho. Ho 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 ho. Arms starting to feel a little weak. Hey. Shazza. He da. I fought imaginary elves that were stronger than you. S S ho, 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 ho. Ha. Sh 
says, Son, ha! where did you learn to block like that? Ha! Say! Kila! Hey! Might as well give up, Minette. Issa! Issa! Ha! Sa! Ha! Eat! Go! I can't believe it. You never threw a single punch, yet you beat me. Life is so unfair. And so horribly unrude. gosh. And there it was, the real reason why Minette wore that mask. A tattoo, which she later admitted she had gotten on the spur of the moment, and which she instantly regretted, calling it the stupidest thing she'd ever done in her life. She also admitted that the reason she had fallen so far behind schedule was because Ernst and Gunther Schmeck, former members of the East German secret police, were paying her a small fortune to create a dress for the first lady out of fabric they supplied. This fabric was infused with microscopic circuitry that would allow them to eavesdrop on the world summit. All three have been arrested, which means Manette will probably be designing her next collection from a jail cell. And she doesn't care for stripes. As for the beautiful pieces of stained glass that Noisette Tornade hid away years ago, they have been returned to the churches they came from. And Noisette is finally getting the respect and gratitude she was denied after the war. Not that she was perfect. But it seems to me her biggest fault wasn't doing too little for her beloved city of Paris, but trying to do too much. And as if busting a pair of spies and recovering lost treasure weren't enough, Heather took over Manette's spring show and had me, me, be one of the models. Believe it or not, I managed to make it all the way down the runway and back without falling flat on my face. Of course, I still have no idea what I was wearing, but I can tell you one thing. It was rude. Very rude. Time to dig out the tank top, stuck up on sunscreen, and slip on those sandals. Because for my next adventure, I'm off to Hawaii. To the big island, to be exact. Where I'll be helping out this quirky entomologist. That's a bug scientist, by the way. Who has just made a disturbing discovery. In fact, my working vacation quickly turns into a series of disturbing discoveries, including one that involves a legendary monster with a nasty temper and an appetite for revenge. So come with me to this island paradise and help me solve the mystery surrounding the creature of Kapu Cave. Until then, aloha. Aloha.